Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial on Shorewave, the AI Power email tool designed to help you manage your Gmail inbox more efficiently. This is available on web, iOS, Android, and as a desktop app. But in this case, we're going to focus on the web version, okay? But most things are going to be applicable to the other version. Shortwave uh, lets you handle your emails from any device. I'm going to show you how to get started with Shortwave, navigate the interface, use the key features, and leverage AI to boost your productivity, okay? Let's dive in. Now, the first thing that you must do, of course, is you have to go to shortwave.com and you have to sign up using your Google account, okay? So just click on Get Started for free. And you can just click on Continue with Google. And I'm just going to sign in with my account now. I'm going to click on Continue. And now I'm just going to select All Permissions, and I'm going to click on Continue again. And after a few seconds, it's going to look like this. Now, the first thing that you have to select is the kind of split that you want for your inbox, okay? Whether you want a single inbox, one inbox for important, and one inbox for your other emails, and just your classic theme. I'm just going to select this single inbox and we can select it or we can change it at any time. Okay. Let's click on next. Let's click on next. And we can also start a free trial for 14 days of one of these paid plans. But for the time being, I'm just going to talk about the free plan. So I'm just going to click on skip for now. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to let actually Shortwave organize our inbox. So we're just going to click on let's do it here. Now, the AI assistant is actually going to give you the chance to mark different emails as done. Shortwave can also help you unsubscribe from certain newsletter to emails that you don't want, actually. And you're going to click on unsubscribe here. Now, you can also mark the rest of the actual emails as done. And you can also set some important emails as star, which is going to appear with this icon here. Okay, now we can actually close the AI assistant. You can, by the way, always open your AI assistant to ask questions with this button here, similar to Gemini. Now let's talk about a couple of important features. The first one is the star emails or the star address. Okay, so let's say that you want to have quick access to an email. What you can do, for example, is you can click on this star icon and it's going to appear here in the star section, which is amazing. Okay, so you can always have quick access to this email. Okay, that's actually great. Something else that you can also do, for example, is you can snooze your emails. Okay, so they disappear from this you know, inbox tem temporarily. And you can select when you want them to reappear then again. Okay, so let's actually click on snooze. Let's say that I want them, you know, to appear, to disappear now, but to appear to tomorrow again at this time. Okay, so I'm just going to click on tomorrow and now it's going to disappear. But tomorrow at 8 a.m. is going to appear again, as it says here. Now, something that I find really works amazing in Shortwave is the option to add tasks or to add to-dos, okay? So let's say that I have an important email that kind of reminds me of something and I want it to be present in like a task list or, you know, a list that I can access to and that I know that I have to do later. Let's say, for example, that, I don't know, let's select a random email such as this one. Let's say that this e email contains, for example, you know, very important info that I have to do later, okay? What I can do is I can go to this button here and I can go add to-do, okay, or just press T. And what this is going to do, basically, it's going to make kind of a summary of this email, and it's going to put it in a sentence, which is going to be store systematic review using illicit workflow, okay? And it's going to put it in this list, in to-dos, which is amazing. So I'm actually going to be reminded of what the email contains by this sentence, okay? And if I want to access the full email, I can just go to to-dos here, and I can click on this one, and I come, I'm going to see the, the whole email, okay? And after I'm ready, I can just click on done here, or I can also click on this icon, on this sticking icon here. And now the email has actually disappeared from my inbox because the task is done, so I don't need the email anymore, okay? Which is amazing, right? You can also eliminate the emails very easily by clicking the stick here, okay? So let's say that I wanna get rid of this email because it's not important, for example, I can just click on this stick or I can press D and it's gonna disappear. And I can do the same with the other ones, okay? So this is actually much more simple than the manually deleting them all, you know, it's much more faster. Now, something that I really like about Shortwave is that you can use it instead of your regular Gmail, okay? So it has all the necessary options, it's the same as Gmail, okay? You can compose an email, for example, which is amazing, the same way, actually. You can also, uh, let's close this for a second, you can also reply to an email, okay? If you just open it, you can click on reply all. And what I find very interesting is that you can ask the AI assistant a bunch of questions, okay? So let's say, for example, that, I don't know, I'm interested in actually looking for emails by Discord, for example. Find all emails by Discord. And if I run this prompt, it is going to get all of the emails for me. It found three. Okay. And it's going to give me a summary of the emails, which is amazing. And maybe if there's something to do in these emails, okay, even it's some kind of reply or some, or some kind of option. Now, one of the features that I like the most about Shortwave is the AI assistance when writing or when replying to messages, right? So let's say, for example, that I want to reply to this email. 
okay? I'm just going to open it, and I can, you know, reply manually as usual. But I can also select from this option, you know, a couple of different replies that I can give. And the AI is actually going to expand on this on these topics, and it's going to create a well-crafted response. And I can also add, or I can also open the AI system by clicking into this button. It says, write first draft with AI. And after a few seconds, it's going to give us an answer. So this is the reply that I came up with. Okay, thanks for your welcome, blah, blah, blah. We'll explore the platform and I can insert it. Or if I don't think it's good enough or I don't like what this particular, you know, reply, I can ask for another one. I can say, I politely refuse the invitation. There we go. And it creates another one, okay? And I can also copy paste it, okay? Which is amazing. Now, lastly, I recommend that you actually take some time in the settings to customize Shortwave to your liking. So just go to settings here. And from here, you can, for example, uh, change the split. In my case, it was like a one split, but you can also change the split to important and other, and it's going to look like this, basically. Okay, you have your important message first, which in my case is zero, because it's like a test account, and then I have others, which is all of the junk, pretty much, and the to-do list as usual. And you can also make kind of your own split by going to this order split here. And from here, you're going to be able basically to make a split based on a certain cri criteria. Let's say, for example, that you want all of the emails from a certain person to fall into this split. So let's say, for example, I don't know, Duolingo, right? I don't know. Let's click on save. So yeah, let's click on create here. And now look, we have our split from Duolingo, okay, which is amazing. So all of the emails from Duolingo, for example, right? Keep in mind that besides your inbox, you also have your, you know, drafts, spam, and you have a bunch of different categories that SmartWave has built for you, similar to Gmail, but better actually, okay? You have more categories. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you now have a good understanding of how to use Shortwave. And yeah, just use it and let us know how it goes. Thank you so much.